So what is Entity Framework? Entity Framework is a tool we use to access a database. More accurately, it's classified as an Object Relational Mapper, or ORM, which means it maps data in a relational database into objects of our applications. In the old days, before Entity Framework, we had to do this mapping manually, which involved opening a connection to the database, executing a command, reading the data, and finally remembering to close the connection. With an object relational mapper, we don't have to do this stuff anymore. So we work at a higher level of abstraction. Entity Framework provides a class called dbContext, which is a gateway to our database. A dbContext has one or more db sets, which represent tables in our database. We use link to query these db sets, and Entity Framework will translate our link queries to SQL queries at runtime. It opens a connection to the database, reads the data, maps it to objects, and adds them to DB sets in our DB context. As we add, modify, or remove objects in these DB sets, Entity Framework keeps track of these changes. And then when we ask it to persist the changes, again, it will automatically generate SQL statements and executes them on our database. So this is Entity Framework. Now, there are two ways or two workflows to use Entity Framework. One is called database first, the other one is called code first. And that's what I'm going to cover next.